So hello guys welcome back to the channel in this video we'll cover this amazing lab and many of you are facing issues on especially on task number one so here is the updated solution for it and here I also missed one thing that to enable the external IP so here in this video we'll cover this thing also now open the cloud console incognito window and just activate your cloud shell so here basically you have to just click on I understand and just the next step is that activation of cloud shell here basically you have to just click on this and click on continue and authorize yourself okay it will take few seconds and it will be done do not worry about it and once it's done we'll move forward to the next step so in the description box of this video first of all let me increase the font size and in the description box of this video i've shared one github repository we'll be using that so come over here and just paste over here all these commands are already present on the lab instructions so we are not violating anything another important thing is that here it will take some time so wait for it and meanwhile in case you haven't subscribed the channel yet do subscribe it and like the video now let's wait for some time and then we'll move forward to the next step so follow the video correctly otherwise if you just use the basically the github command then chances are there you may not get the full score so just wait for some time Once it is done, come back to the lab instruction and check the score for all particular tasks. Basically, if you are unable to see the score, you can do one thing, refresh the browser window too and just check the score. And if you want to enable this, check my progress bar. You can check the description box of this video. Now from here, we have to just open the VM instance like this. If you are unable to find it, just do one thing. You can just find the compute engine. And then just wait for a few more seconds. And basically, first thing is that you have to click on the VM instance. And just click on this and delete the VM instance. As I am doing, just follow along with me. Wait for a few seconds and then we have to just recreate the VM instance. Now it will take some time to get deleted. Once it is deleted, click on create instance and then just check the lab instruction for the values remove this unwanted pop-up and if it reloads wait for a few more seconds as you can see in my case it happened chances are there it may not happen in your case now copy the name region and zone as per the lab instruction now we have to update the machine type so just update the machine type here you can see we have e2 standard 4 so make sure to select correct machine type okay so it will be mentioned over here just select like this and then we have to just update the os so just update the OS to Ubuntu and then we have to just select this one carefully select carefully cross verify again and again and then only select it okay so like this you have to select and then you have to just change it to SSD and then update the value of the size then again add a new disk and for the new disk the name is already mentioned over here just paste it like this just update it to SSD and it will be size as per the lab instruction now from here we have to move to the networking basically the data protection just select it now in the networking section i missed one thing i am going to show what i have missed in the previous video so just do like this and in the network interface just change it and here only the external ip i missed so you have to select it like this all these things are done now the last thing is that we have to update the service account so click on done come over here and just select the select service account all these things are done now just click on create now basically if you feel this video is a bit fast just use the speed option on the youtube to just decrease the speed so once it is completed it will be done with the lab do like the video and subscribe the channel and many of you are facing issues on the jenkins lab that is also updated on the channel you can check it out now once it is done we'll hit check my progress for all the particular task and that's how we completed the lab do like the video and subscribe the channel